Hello, hello. Are you out there? This is Mark with Redo Over, and I'm just jumping right back into some Master of Orion. I just recorded a session, but I'm having a lot of fun. The game's at a, at a good, exciting part right now. So, where we left off, we just freed more slaves and added the population to Hill Prime, which is our fourth newest colony over here. And they are just smoking along. Um, if you check this out, it has Dark Quartz, which yields two production. Plus the prisoners we freed. So right away, even though this colony is only like literally like three turns old, it already has two people, five production. So I'm going to buy the um, biosphere right now. That'll yield one research and one extra uh, food to help get our food production cranking along. So I'm going to just make that purchase. Boom. Right there. Uh -huh. Okay, Tormontus 2 has grown. Eh, they're coming along slow. Uh... Tormontus has had a little bit of an issue with morale, um, but they're finally going to complete the star base, and then they'll start on the government support utility uh, facility, which will pop our morale up to 75%. Probably still going to have one unhappy guy, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, so yeah, next turn. Our destroyer is coming back to help defend. Um, we're, we're trying to keep a barrier between the Nolums in... Uh, our empire via the uh, military outpost here uh, in Nayu, the Nayu system. It's like our choke point between them and us. Okay, uh, let's do research first. Neutron physics research completed. Choose research. Our scientists have made a new discovery. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so yeah, we miniaturized cannons, um, got the neutron collider, invented the mass driver and invented the Neutron Rifle, which is for uh, Marines, for ground troops. Update blueprints. Yeah, let's upgrade all that. Uh, neutron blasters, laser cannons. Upgrade multiple blueprints. Yeah, we're going to upgrade all of, our, all of our weapons that use that stuff. We're going to get these advancements. So miniaturizations mean that you can get more of the same type of weapon into the same chip size. Because they're smaller, so you get more weaponry... It can reduce cost, I think, a little bit. Stuff like that. Our scientists are eager to start. Cool. What should we focus on? You see here, new technology. This is the next tier up, so I'm going to avoid that for now. I'm going to focus on the, the lower tier we've been working on. Or the current tier, I should say. So, get some more weaponry. Let's go for that cruiser, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. This will get us a better ship. Tr Tritanium armor. And modif uh, Merculite Missile Modifications. That'll us like Mervs and Fast and Armored and all that kind of stuff. So th that's when we want. Fantastic. Done. Upgrade the frigate. Yeah, we got a couple of upgrades. It's not that expensive. 89. That's cheap for now. If you keep up with your upgrades as you get new technologies, um, like improve your ships uh, regularly, the upgrade cost won't get too big. If you wait, though, for years and years and like 10 different research developments to go by without upgrading like our destroyer you could have a cost of a thousand bc to upgrade one ship so really what we need to do is we need to get this destroyer to a star base or a military outpost that's the only place you can get upgrades so let's send it actually to the military outpost and we're going to bite the bullet we'll see how much that upgrade is going to cost I, I bet you it's going to cost a few hundred bc though because this thing's been out fighting pirates for for years now, right? We haven't had a, a military outpost or a star base in a long time. It's like the Enterprise being out there for like two years on a mission before going back to space dock for retrofits. So we'll see what it, we'll see what the price tag is. Um, okay, a bunch of other stuff here. What do we got? Um, Biosphere is completed. Heal Prime. Autofact next in queue. Yeah. There we go. So he yeah. So look, that was what forty three turns till the next food, but now it's down to 24 because we have that frickin' um, structure is yielding two. Or, or, I think one extra coming off the biosphere. Right there. Biosphere. I can't click on it. Don't worry. Uh, okay, and Starbase at Tormontus 2. Awesome. Um, you can see now, because we built that Starbase, our command points went from 17 to 22. So we gained five command points for that Starbase. And they're working on the government support facility because morale. Yeah, what are you going to do? And then finally, Hydroponic Farm completed its sole prime. Jumping. 
Yeah, look at this. One turn and we'll be up to 12 population. And we're going to start doing more colony ships as well. But yeah, let's see. I see, um, gosh, there's so much we could do. But let's see, Neutron Collider, 16 turns. Yeah, let's let's do that. And what this yields is, it's a maintenance cost of 3, which is significant. But f it gives a production per cell of plus 1. So we're going to add that, start building it. And what per cell means is, look, this is a cell, this is a cell, this, 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 this. So all these guys, it, it could far outstrip the cost of the 3BC. If we had six guys producing, that would yield six extra for only a cost of 3BC. So it would be like a two to one ratio. It can be worth it. You do have to be careful, though, not to pollute your planet. So got to be a little cautious of that. But we'll, we'll deal with it when we face it. So done. That's it. That's it for now. Next turn. Currently, we have a spy attempting to infiltrate the Nolan Empire. That's all, that'll be so, ready soon. Okay. Electromagnetic disturbance detected. So we don't have a way to get there. We're just detecting it through open space, but there's no space lane. There's no hyperspace lane there, so we can't get there. Soul Prime has grown. Check it. So here they are, 12 people. Can we move this guy down here? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay, look at If we put this population in production, it'll yield us one production. Not very efficient, because remember, our planet got downgraded from a normal to poor mineral classification. So he's useless there. If we put him here, he yields three research. So three research or one production? Yeah, three research. So you gotta be careful about how you balance that. So I'm gonna take the research. Hit done. And that neutron collider will be ready in 15 turns. Finally, Starbase at Nayu 2. Okay. Oh, ew, and now, look, haha, neutron collider. This is our this is our volcanic ultra rich. We're gonna start building that. They'll have it done uh, in nine turns, and then this will become a five five four. And normally that level of production would pollute a normal planet, but because this is a volcanic hellscape, we have a volcanic a, po a pollution tolerance of 500, negative 478. We will never over pollute. Down here you see cleanup biome tolerance 500. Yeah, it, it could tolerate essentially unlimited amount of pollution. Yay! <laughs> we just, we just dumped the pollution in the volcano. It's great. Done. All right, that's kind of everything for now. So yeah, next turn, here we go. We're, we have a huge amount of BCR. BC is plus 88. We're doing great on the credit upkeep. I mean, we're just making so much money, hand over fist. Next turn. See here, there are some practices and procedures that must be observed at all times. We got caught. <laughs> The League holds a number of patented designs that we would very much like to keep private. Withdraw your spies from the Nolan colonies. We're going to accept. We're, they caught us red-handed because we put in a level one spy. He wasn't that good. Alpha wasn't ready. Yeah, I'm glad we can see eye to eye. We're still friendly, but down at the bottom there, they discovered one of your spies in their colonies recently. So that's a down red arrow. So that's not great. Goodbye. Mission failed. Spy Alpha. Infiltrate the Empire. Location Nolan. Alpha was captured while in an infiltrate Empire mission at the Nolan colony. We'll hit done. Yeah, infiltrate failed. Bummer. Uh, research treaty just finished. We it yielded 259 research. All right, we might go for some more of that. Let's go back up here to Espionage tab. Look at this. Alpha is now a prisoner within the Nolan Empire. So it was a risk. I knew it was. I knew he wasn't ready, but, you know, that's fine. We'll wait till Bravo or Charlie gets up to maybe level three, and we'll try to infiltrate again. Okay? No problem. Get done. And... Fleet needs order. Okay. Yeah, Space Factory just finished. Let's upgrade it real quick for 1 BC. What is that? Just a 
fusion drive. It makes it a little faster, travel faster. And yeah, let's send uh, this guy out to protect here. We want to protect Heal Prime from pirate incursion, so we're going to send that space factory all the way over. And, uh, yeah, next turn. Oh, let's see if we can get another research treaty with an old. I think that'd be handy. Uh, fleet needs orders. Okay, here's our destroyer. Let's, let's upgrade the destroyer at the military outpost. Because we haven't upgraded it in many, many research upgrades, it's now going to be 225. We'll bite the bullet, we'll do it. Now it's a top-of-the-line destroyer with all the newest technology. It's done, that simple. And we're going to hit the... We're going to hit guard right there, so it'll help defend. Primarily against the threat of, of Nolan incursion. Uh, and then, yeah, let's go to Diplomacy. Go to the Nolim. They have quite a bit of credit, so let's see if we can get an audience. Ah, my old friend. Today is a most fortunate day. He's happy to see us. Despite our spine. I think it, it... They ask you to remove the spies, and if you do it, then in general, you are you don't hurt your reputation too much, because everyone wants to spy. That's kind of like the art of political craft. You know, whatever. state Statecraft. If you were to refuse to withdraw your spy, then I think it would hurt your rep. Let's go to neg negotiations. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> By all means. Trade treaty. Long-term deals already in place. Oh, uh, no, research treaty. We don't have enough funds, so we, we need to save up a little more money. So I'm going to hit back. Goodbye. <laughs> Fare thee well, my friend. Goodbye. So we got we to gotta get a little more coin before we can get that treaty in place. So let's hit next turn. Charlie spy recruited. Go back to the Empire tab. And then let's get another agent. We're going to start on Delta. Start training Delta. These other guys, uh, Bravo Charlie, we're just going to let them sit there. They'll gain, I think, one... Yeah, right right here. Counter espionage, meaning they're helping defend our Empire from spies coming in. They get one EXP per turn. They, they don't gain XP very fast when they're on counter, but what they done... Uh, Tormontius, Tormontius II completed the government support facility. You can see the morale is 75, but of course we have four population. So 75% is three-fourths. So three people are happy, one person is not anything I can do about that. Let's go to production. So yeah, let's see what we could get here. I like the Colonial Revenue Service. Um, it'll yield one BC per population with no upkeep. So that'll yield 4 BC. So let's get that building. And then, what do we got here? Neutron Collider. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Start building that. Actually, let's get get a... Yeah, I was I think we build more ships. But I want to build the cruiser once we get that technology. It's coming up. So let's, uh, so let's just do the Colonial Revenue Service for now. Nine turns, then we'll see where we're at. Done. And uh, next turn. And nothing happened. Yeah, nothing's changed. We go one more turn, and then we'll go back in and try and get that research treaty, or the trade treaty negotiated. Okay. So we're moving through the turns pretty quick. Let's go back to diplomacy. Nolan, request an audience. Ah, my old friend. Today is a most... Negotiations. Uh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> research treaty. Means. Pose it. <laughs> you are far too munificent, my friend. Okay, we got it. Um, and now we're in harmony. Holy cows. Because we went in for another treaty with them. Like, we're harmonious. So we could form an alliance with them pretty sh pretty soon if we wanted to. We'll say goodbye. Fare thee well, my friend. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, we're benefiting from these treaties a lot. So it's, it's well worth it. Um, we're almost out of money though, so there's not really anything else we can do for now. So yeah, let's hit next turn. New ship design. So technology's come along. So let's go to our research. Our scientists have made a new discovery. It's our cruiser. Looks like the Enterprise. It's like a Star Trek ship. I love it. Update all blueprints. Update all. Up update all. But yeah, so here is the cruiser. That thing looks so cool. I love it. A lot more attack power than the destroyer. Look, the destroyer had 
six attack power? But this has 31? Like, monstrously more, more devastating. Hit done. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Next technology. Transport. DNA scanner. That's a security element? I've never messed with the defensive security stuff that much. I just try and get a bunch of spies and have them doing counter espionage. Kind of how I've done it. So I'm not worried about that really. Advanced data center. Ooh, plus one per cell. That would be worth having. Yeah, let's go after that next. Excellent. I want that advanced data center. Done. It's only five turns away. And then look with our new technology. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade the frigate and the destroyer. We're trying to keep them as technologically up to date as possible. And next turn. We're nearly broke again, unfortunately. Wow. Check it out. New pirate fleet. Yes, we want the pirate fleet. And we have an upgraded destroyer. Cutting edge. We're gonna send it in to take on that take on that pirate base. So here we go. Fleet detected near Mentar, no problem. We're gonna just select the destroyer only. And send it in. <laughs> um, and who's crewing that ship? So let's go to leaders real quick. Maja is on the destroyer. Now he, you see she's nearly, she's got a little fraction. She's almost to level two. So she's almost grown. Now here's the thing. Leaders earn experience only while assigned. Ship leaders earn additional experience by exploring anomalies, discovering planets, engaging in battles, contacting races, Killing space pirates and killing the Orion Guardian. So we want her to like fight the the enemy pirates as much as possible to get her more experience faster. So um Gosh, actually what I really want, I want her to go to here first, because I want her to take on that pirate if possible. We'll try and make that happen. Autofact completed at Huel Prime. Let's take a look. Yes, this is looking good. Uh okay. So what else could we use here at Huel? Eventually we'll want the government support facility, definitely. We don't need to get the Colonial Rev Revenue Service up yet. Let's get the research lab going. It'll be a quick build, five turns. And then when that's done, we'll see where we're at. Um, we might look into some of the other uh, more government service type of things. But for now, that'll that'll be a good start. Get done. And... Uh next turn Let's see what these pirates do here okay look so yeah Maja just leveled that's awesome she's level two her salary went up a little bit so we can we could choose what we want her to specialize in some leaders only have one thing and so it's just the only choice some have two some have three maybe I don't think I've seen that very much though but we want the command point um She's giving us a bonus to our the command point load our entire space fleet can have. She's invaluable to us, so we're confirm that. Um, and actually, if we go up here to command points, I look down in here, I see the leader bonus gives us she she yields us an extra 3.75 command points, and that'll climb. That'll go from 10 to 15, where we're at to 20 to 25, maybe as high as 30. Yeah, potentially. Neutron Collider completed at Nayu 2. Let's take a look. Oh man, look at that 554. These guys are awesome. You know what we're going to build here is a cruiser. These guys can pump out a cruiser in 11 turns. That's like lightning quick. So we're going to start building up our space fleet now that Nayu 2 is in a position to rapidly build cruisers. That's what they're going to do. They're going to crank these out for us. So there we go. And, uh, yeah, can I get, um, the destroyer there two turns? Let's see, if I start going, I'll end up here, and then they'll come towards me, we'll miss. So I'm going to actually have them guard right here, because I want Maja to get a shot to take on the pirates. Kill them, then we'll go take on their base. Next turn. Enemy spy discovered. So the Nolem sent a spy against us. We, we got them, though. Our options are now that we we can capture. So we, we've detected them. What are we going to do? We could 
arrest them, capture them, put them in prison. We can deport them, which means we just send them back to Nolan. But then they'll, but then that means Nolan can just use them against us again, or use them to defend themselves, counter espionage, or we can kill them. If you kill them, though, it is a negative diplomatic consequence. We're going to capture them. We're going to imprison them. And now, the news. State of the galaxy. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current number of colonies. That's good. We're tied with the Alkari with four. The Bull Rathi are growing fast. They have six. So here's a new hero. New leader. Connor, the pilot. Connor survived his trial by fire after facing an elite silicoid death squad as a green recruit in the Unified Front Armed Forces. After retiring honorably and collecting too many medals to count, he decided to go solo and work with the military as a contractor. So, command points. He's got command points. This is rare. I've almost never seen this happen, but yeah, I want more command points. This is fantastic. It's just literally in the, it'll mean, it ultimately it'll mean we can have dozens of more ships in our massive end fleet because of these command points. So we're going to hire him. Boom. He needs to be assigned to a ship. So we're going to assign him our frigate. Which is here? Yeah. Not great, but it's better than nothing. And he'll be assigned to the frigate. Um, so yeah, this gives us a between Maja and Connor now, we have a 25% bonus to command. That's monstrous. We jump up here. It hasn't taken effect yet until he's on a ship, but we'll, we'll try and remember to check when he gets on a ship. Um, I think that's good for now. Next turn. Waiting for the pirate fleet to get to us. Next turn. Okay. Here we go. So a couple things going on. First off, uh, our space factory, we're going to build a military outpost down here. Um, and this will protect Huel Prime. If, if any pirates form down here and come this way, the military outpost will defend Huel and subsequently uh, Tormontius too and Soul Prime from pirates or in the enemy. So that's smart. Um, here, we want to send the destroyer to attack those pirates. Uh, and that'll help Maja gain experience. So, yeah, auto resolve. We, we don't need to watch it. We'll just do it. So, done. We win. I, I knew we'd win. No question. And now we're going to send Maja on to take on the pirate base. So, she's en route. And let's jump up to leaders real quick. Yeah, she got a little tick there. Presumably, she got a little experience for that. Um. Spy Delta, excuse me, Spy Delta recruited by humans. Let's go to the Espionage tab. So yeah, we have Bravo, Charlie, and Alpha. Alpha's in prison, Delta is new. But um, Bravo's over halfway to level two. Let's recruit another spy, Echo. So yeah, we, we're going to want to build up our spies to maybe six to eight, depending on what we're doing. Done. And... Research completed. Our scientists have made a new discovery. That's the advanced data center. That's a plus one research per cell. We're going to want to get one of those on Soul Prime as quick as we can. And the crust prospecting, this is only suitable for poor and ultra poor planets. But Soul is a poor planet, actually, because we got downgraded. And the, those two other colony worlds we're going to get to colonizing, they're, they're both poor, so they'll, they'll benefit from that. Um, getting down to this few options here, what do we got? Toxic processor, soil enrichment. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the xenobiotics. That'll help us with farming and with, uh, with processing of toxic stuff. So, yeah, let's see here. Kamek 2 is an ultra poor planet with gold. And Atari Prime is a poor planet. So the crust prospecting will pull. Huel cannot benefit from the crust, pro crust prospector. Hermontus can't. Obviously, Nayu can't. But Sol is poor. Let's jump into Sol Prime and take a look here. Right now, they're working on the Neutron Collider. But we know that we can do a crust 
prospector here. Five. It'll be plus two production, two maintenance. Let's start building it. And then let's get the advanced data center in the queue behind it. Start building. So, so over the next um, 24 turns, we'll be building these three, three products. Get them all in. But this will greatly improve our production, and it'll start hitting into our research pretty well. We're actually one turn away from maxing out our population. So let's go to that. Next turn. Okay, a bunch of stuff happened here. Soul Prime reached its max population. Let's take a look. So we're 13 of 13 now. What that means is that we can pool these people. We don't need them to farming. We don't get a benefit from producing a lot of extra food. So I can move people down here into production. I have to be careful not to overload our pollution. But look, I can get another researcher. I have plus five food. Let's keep going. Let's go another. Another researcher there. If I take one more person off, we go to negative one food. We're starving. So we'll slowly grow with plus two food. This will fill up because eventually we're going to make another colony ship. And that'll take our population down. But if we have a bunch of food saved up, we can rapidly regain that population loss. So we'll drop to 12. But with our surplus of food that we're going to be building, we'll, we'll get back to 13 quickly. Okay. By adding in a bunch of production, we, we've gained a lot of research. So this is kind of where we really break loose. Soul Prime is hitting its stride now because we don't need that many people farming. We have a bunch of research going. We have a bunch of production. This Neutron Collider is going to really help us in the, the crust prospecting and the advanced data center will then add one research to each of these. That will yield six research immediately once it's done. Let's hit done. Colonial Revenue Service completed at Tormontis. Okay, that's just yielding a little BC, but we need to choose another production here. Um, I want them really working on military ships. They don't produce that well. What are we looking at here? No one's in research yet. Oh, gosh, I'm not really sure what the best option for you guys is. Oh, you know what? A marine barracks will yield a plus five morale. That might... Make the, the one guy happy. Let's do that. We don't care about Marines that much, but plus five morale. That could kick us from 75 to 80 and would make this guy productive. So that's probably well worth it. Eight turns till that's done. Let's hit done. Research lab completed at Heal Prime. Take a look. So yeah, these guys are just kind of developing bit by bit here. Everyone's happy. I guess increase our population growth, right? That would make sense. So let's get that... Which is better? That's one for two. That's not very valuable. The hydroponic farm is two for two. Let's take the hydroponic farm. And then we're going to need that government support you facility. Because we're going to have morale issues. So we'll, we'll start building that as well. So th those two are in the queue for now. We'll hit done. Well, Rathi and Darlock have signed a truce finally. They've been at war for many turns, which is good. Next turn. Oh boy, this ain't good. What manner of creature are you that you would stand to face the Herald of Antares? Countless eons was my kind imprisoned by decadent Orion, but at last we have returned to take back what's ours. So they're going to attack us. Yay. Okay. Real quickly, leader leveled up. Ula Agen Agneta has uh, improved her ability to provide security from 8% to 10%. Confirm. No problem. So here's what we got. We have an Antaran fleet consisting of two destroyers and two frigates. Combined attack power of 32. Combined defensive rating 132. They're going to hit Naive Prime like a Frickin' freight train. That's not great. I don't think there's anything we can do to stop it, though. Um, I could send in our frigate, but I'm just... Essentially, I'm going to move out of their way. I'm going to let them hit Nayu. Yeah. Otherwise, the, the, it'll destroy our entire fleet, and we probably still wouldn't stop them. Let's go to Nayu through real quick. View. They have a star base. It's not going to survive. The star base will probably be destroyed. Which is, it is what it is. But ultimately, our colony should survive the attack. 
Fingers crossed. Get it done. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do for them. They're gonna they're gonna get hit hard. Those in Terran stuck. Um completed Soul Prime completed the neutron glider. Yeah. So these guys went to a 3322 instead of a 2211. Well, that's a lot more production. That's awesome for us. We gotta keep an eye on our pollution up here though. It's climbing. We only have eight production more before we start polluting our plants. We gotta be careful. But yeah, these guys are looking good. We're gonna get that research lab done and then we're gonna go for that colony ship. Um, yeah, done. Uh, actually, I th we'll hit next turn. I think that's gonna be it for this session. We're up to uh, 30 minutes here on this video. But on the next session, yeah, we'll take on that pirate fleet, see what the Antarans do to Nayu. Our guys, they're gonna get they're gonna get killed. Not all of them, hopefully. So yeah, if you watched, thank you. Take care.